Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Turning Red. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, especially you. Yes, you. Hello, you. Thank you to all of my little golden grams who continue to stick around and subscribe and who watch these movies and shows with me on a regular basis. I really appreciate y'all. You guys are definitely the backbone of this community and you make this channel so fun to make videos on, so I really appreciate it. And welcome if you're new. Hey, hi, how are you? If you like what you see here and you enjoy these videos, maybe consider clicking that little red button below to subscribe. We definitely have a lot of fun over here. We are finally watching Turning Red today. This is a movie that has been on my list since I heard that it was coming out. It definitely seems like a cute animated film. I definitely enjoy diving into animated movies from time to time here on my channel. They definitely get the waterworks going and um, definitely hit me in the heart in a special kind of way that not every movie does. This one has made it into, I think, a couple polls over at my Patreon page and it hasn't won yet, and I kinda just wanna watch it while it's still relatively new on Disney+. Plus. Honestly, by the time I'm getting to it now, I feel like it's old news at this point. I feel like the life cycle of the internet is like five seconds. <laughs> so if you don't get to something within like a week of it being out, it's already old. Uh, so there, you know, I don't really stress about that kind of stuff too much, to be honest with y'all, but I'm excited to hop on into this one, not too long after it's been released. I kind of wanted to watch something that felt a little bit more lighthearted. I always say that when I sit down to watch these animated movies and then I end up bawling my eyes out and they end up moving me really intensely and I, I end up crying. I mean, uh, that happened with Encanto, that happened with Big Hero 6. And uh, it may happen with this movie too. I'm not quite sure. I don't know much or anything really about it. I think the only thing I may know about it is I think I've heard that it's kind of about puberty loosely. Uh, I'm not really sure how true that is. From the billboard, it looks like a character who's human turns into an animal. Um, I don't know. That's really all I know. <laughs> I think it sounds like a metaphor for puberty, but maybe the story isn't necessarily that specifically. So I think it'll be a fun time. I'm hoping that it's funny. I'm hoping that it makes me laugh and just brightens my day. For those of y'all that don't know, I do have a Patreon page where you can catch my full length reaction to this movie. It's in a watch along style format. So if you wanna sit down and watch this movie with me, make sure to go click my Patreon link below in the description, as well as maybe checking out the show that I'm watching over there that you will see eventually over here on YouTube. But if you want early access to things like that, I post content over there a fair bit earlier than here on YouTube. So yeah, I would definitely go check that out if that interests you. And with all that being said, guys, I don't have too much to say about this one. I kind of just want to hop into it and have a good time with you all today. I'm excited. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. I'm Maylin Lee. Ever since I turned 13. Oh, she's 13. It is about puberty. 24 7, 365. Does she have a Tamagotchi? A flute! I used to play the flute. Wait, I love that this is 2002. Oh my god, the, the leggings with the skirt really is such a vibe. Besties, assemble! Hurry up! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they're so confident. Look at them. Come on, come on. Get the bar here. Come on. Oh man. What is this? Do they have a crush on the guy that like works here or something? Mmm, Devin. Devin? He looks exactly how I'd expect in 2002! He's in the seashell necklace in the fucking ass! <laughs> in Toronto, too, of all places! Oh, her boy band obsession? Yes! But tickets to Four Town are like a bajillion dollars, and Devin's right here. And free! And free! Devin's not free, ma'am. He's not for sale. <laughs> Is this their house? Wow. Oh, they work here. I see. Oh, they work for the temple. Oh, okay. There you are. Hey, mom. You're 10 minutes late. What happened? Are you hurt? Are you hungry? Oh, she's a helicopter parent. Today, honor student? Tomorrow? 
UN Secretary General. Or whatever she wants to be, maybe. But, you know, it's not the family style. It kind of makes sense. Like, I feel like this will be about puberty because, like, when you go through puberty, you start to, like, rebel. You start to, like, feel different emotions coursing through your body and, like, not know who you are anymore, not know, like, everything's different, everything's changing. I wouldn't be surprised if it was about this and then all of a sudden she, like, becomes this child who doesn't really want to like do everything for her parents anymore and feels angsty. Our most revered ancestor, Sun Yi, was a scholar, poet, and defender of animals. Oh, I like that. Is that why she might turn into an animal? Oh, the red pandas. That's what was on the cover. It was a red panda. That's the artwork. I do love red pandas. They're really cute. Give me five. <gasps> yeah. Oh, they have a really cute relationship. This artwork is so pretty too. Oh, say so they live next door. I see. And now you get to experience them live. Four Town. She's got to make it to the concert. Come on. And why are they called Four Town if there are five of them? Yeah, that is a really good question, actually, ma'am. Some of the kids at school like them. She likes them. Aww. She's got to learn how to, like, be herself more. Your parents will love you and accept you, honey. They need to learn how to, like, accept that you're different and you like some different things. She's a good drawer, too. Hmm, kind of looks like Devin. It kind of does. Okay, his shoulders are kind of nice. <laughs> his eyes are fine. Now all of a sudden she thinks he's cute. That's so funny. Ah, it's really, oh, puberty, that's what it is. Oh, it's hit. Oh my God, this is so funny. Under the bed. Ah, she's just drawing without even looking. Oh my god, this is so funny. Huh? Mei Mei, what is this? It's nothing, just the boy, he's A no boy? one. A boy? Who is he? Did he do these things to you? Oh my god, this mother is too much. Is that the sketchy clerk from the Daisy Mom? Mom, no! Oh my god, this mom is so extra. This mom is so much. You! Ma'am. I should report you to the police. Oh, m mom. Oh, my God. How dare you take advantage of her? This mother. Oh, I'm having so much secondhand. What? Oh, no. I. Oh, no. Oh, I'm having so much embarrassment right now. Oh, no. I'm cringing. Now. Yeah. Is there anything else I should know about, Mei, Mei? Nope. All good. Yeah, repress it. Yeah, repress it. I, I feel like girls especially, like you all have an age where you realize like you just can't talk to your mom the same way you used to anymore. You can't like tell her everything you're thinking because your mom wants to protect you. This will never happen again. Honey, oh God. <sighs> oh, is she gonna turn, turn, something's gonna happen. Some magic is happening now. The sorcerer is gonna get involved yet now. This woman, uh, what's it called? This woman, here. You can't just repress this part of yourself. And like your mom needs to learn how to not be so controlling and let you grow up a little bit. Oh my God, she's having a nightmare about the temple and red pandas. <laughs> he, oh, and Devin's a merman. Oh God, my God. Four town. What the hell is this dream? Oh my God, so much is happening. <gasps> Her eyes are different. I mean, they are really sweet parents. Look at, oh. Oh, Tim, Tim Horton's donuts. Wait, so they're for May May, but not for, for you. Yeah, my, my parents did that too. They would buy little munchkin donuts, from, not from Dunkin' Donuts, but just like Wegmans or whatever. <sighs> O-M-G. She's not a little red panda. She's a, a big red panda. Wait, is it that? Puberty, are they freaking out? Did the red peony bloom? <laughs> But it's too soon. It's not too soon. Stop saying it's too soon. That's shaming your daughter. You're a woman. It's happening. Oh my God, calm down. Oh, okay, this mother. Oh my God, I know she wants to help, but Jesus. It's going to be okay. No, it's not. We just get out. Oh, it came out of her. Yeah, she's never disrespected her mother like that. My porridge. The porridge. Thank God for the porridge. Oh my God, she's huge. I thought she was going to be the size of a red panda, not like a, a regular panda. She's huge. You just got to let it out, babe. Oh, what? The ears went away. Whoa. 
Oh, yeah. If your mom will just leave you alone for a little bit and you can zen out and meditate, you'll go back to normal. Oh, her hair is red. Whoa. Oh, what? Oh, your hair is red. I wonder, I feel like that won't ever go back. You got this. Ah! Oh, and now she's got to go to school. And she's the talk of the school. She's got to stay calm. Oh my God, this is so stressful. Nobody will notice a thing. Thank you for your concern, mother. The way she's acting. Yeah, ma'am, no one's going to notice about the period thing, but they're going to notice about the Devon thing because of you, mom. Hey, girlfriend, what is up? She's acting really weird. Oh, that's so funny. Did you like work out this morning? I got Honestly, oh, Priya is so cool. Wait, are you putting deodorant on your face? Slightly uncomfortable secrets were revealed. End of story. She's attracted to every dude now. This is so funny. Oh my God. This is so funny. Her hormones are raging. What's with her? What's with your face? Miriam's great. F off. That's how I was in school. If people were like talking about my friends, I'd be like, how about you shut up? Square root of B squared. What? Oh, oh, look, the security guard's asking her to leave. This is so, this mother is a bit much, man. This mother is a lot. Oh my God, I feel so bad for May May, man. Have you forgot your <laughs> Oh, thank God nobody else in the classroom saw just her mother. Come back! You, it's your fault, ma'am! Your daughter has to be repressed around you because you have no chill. Uh-oh. <laughs> she really is cute in that form. I'm not going to lie, but damn, she huge. Like red pandas are supposed to be little. Jin, get home now. There's been an emergency. The moose. <laughs> Another one. Another one? Has this happened before? Oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> Devin. <laughs> She couldn't control herself. <laughs> oh my God. Don't look at me. Stay back. She's brushing herself, trying to calm down. <gasps> it's happened already. So yeah, so this has clearly happened before. Yeah. What did you say? And they never prepared her for it. They never warned her. You got to tell her. It's time. Uh-huh. <laughs> This is so funny because every parent, you know, like should have a puberty talk with their kids. Not every parent does, but they should. <laughs> oh my God, this movie is already so genius. <laughs> Sun Yi was desperate for a way to protect herself and her daughters. The gods granted her wish to transform into a powerful mystical beast. Why a red panda? Aren't they typically very little? That seems like the wrong animal to choose. Why didn't you warn me? Exactly my question. No, you didn't want to have the conversation. You'll undergo a ritual that will seal your red panda spirit into one of these. Oh, so will we see her mother turn into a red panda? That could be kind of funny. You only have one chance to banish it and you cannot fail. Oh, interesting. But if she calms herself down, she turns back. She turns back into her normal self. So I have a feeling this is gonna be about her mother and her learning to accept. You see, like she can be a normal self. She just gets a little worked up sometimes. And she, I feel like she's gonna make peace with the fact that like this is a part of her now and it's okay for her to let her emotions out. And she isn't gonna choose to seal the red panda spirit in a necklace and instead embrace this side of herself. And her mother is gonna have to learn to accept that and love her for it, you know? Red is a lucky color. It is. Oh, that's real. Oh. oh, that's sweet, Dad. Thanks. That was sweet. This is awful. What are we going to do? Oh, come on. No one can see her like this. Oh, that's so. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh God, I just feel so bad for this little girl. She like, she needs to be herself and let her feel her emotions and like, don't hide her away. It's important for her to express herself. May it's us, open up. Oh, no. Yeah. We were so worried. We thought you died of embarrassment. <laughs> you need more pads? 
I brought extra. Forget that. For Priya is so prepared. Oh, what? Ah! She forgot. <laughs> She forgot <laughs> Four Town pulled her out of it. Are you a werewolf? No. What? She, he's a red panda. Sick. Sick. You're so <laughs> They love her. They're like, this is great. It'll go away. Yeah. Eventually. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's okay, baby. Oh, I mean, I'm smelly. <laughs> Ever, and I'm still crying because <laughs> I relate. Go become women without me. <laughs> oh my god, boots and cats. Oh my god. I've never met nobody <laughs> like you. These are such good friends, man. These friends are like real ones. I'm surprised that her mother hasn't heard this yet. You're the best. Aww. They really are. You have some great friends. These are like the kind of friends you have for life, man. But if I get too excited, it'll come right back. Ow, Abby, what the heck? Huh, something feels different. Yeah, you let out your emotions. You're letting yourself express yourself. Abby, hit me. And they saw you for who? Oh, <laughs> she didn't hit you in the arm, she hit you in the face. <laughs> like if she indicated her arm and Abby still punched her in the face. But I can't ask my mom. I'm a furry digging time bomb. You should ask your mom. You should ask your mom. And she'll probably say no, but you should just go. Even though you're 13. My mom already doesn't like you. Wait, she doesn't? <laughs> my mom already doesn't like you. Wait, what? what? Oh, goody. Time for the conversation. Can you convince them? I doubt it. I just have one teeny tiny favor to ask. No, absolutely not. <gasps> I did this too as a kid! I did PowerPoint presentations to be like, here's why I deserve to do X, Y, and Z. And my parents said no too. Oh my God. I relate to this girl so much. This is actually like ridiculous. Yeah. <gasps> what was that? Am I the only one who sees the danger here? Yeah, not letting her husband speak either. What was that? But I wasn't asking you. Just let me ramble to you. Where did she get Where? that from? You, you're doing it right now it's your mother i'm not here <laughs> like mother like daughter I, I i'm going to handle the ritual on my own oh the way you handled may may being on the news mm. oh her mother is intimidating i see she's got a scar uh-oh grandma's coming grandma's coming this is funny man my parents said i could go when i'm 30. mine called it stripper music oh none of their parents said yes yes but i have to oh. buy the ticket Oh, <laughs> your parents are actually really reasonable, Miriam. <laughs> That's very generous of them. We've been so good. Yeah. If they don't trust us anyway, then what's the point? Who are you? I love it. <laughs> are they gonna sneak out? <laughs> yeah, girls, you're too young to do it, but whatever, do it anyway. That's the stuff. O-M-G. <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't lock the bathroom. Get lost, Stacy. But she's like a magical bear? Red panda. <laughs> Dude, it's really cool. I'll give you anything. Money? My kidney. My soul. Yeah. yeah. Oh, money. Now you can buy tickets. <laughs> this is amazing. They're like, please, please. Oh, the boba. Oh, my God. This is, this is great, man. Also, Stacy with the butterfly clips. Ah, and the flip bones. Oh, my God. I'm getting all the vibes from this. This is amazing. Oh, they're all getting photos. There's, oh yeah, the Polaroid cameras. Yeah, there's no way she's getting rid of this magical panda ability. Look at the hustle. No, no, Tyler's not invited. Yep, get the f out, bro. Yep. Wonder if your mom knows her precious little May May has been flaunting the panda all over school. <gasps> wow, you're a bad boy with that toothpick, Tyler. I wanna throw a sick birthday party. If you're there, everyone will come. Simple as that. It'll cost you one, no, 200 bucks. Okay. Okay. Where, where do all these kids getting this kind of allowance from? This is insane. Easy peasy. Dude, what about your mom? Forget my mom. <gasps> Forget my mom. Oh, she growing up. Is the grandma here? Oh God. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, 
Oh my god. He looks like her father. Ladies. Oh, oh, the grandma's the cool one. Look at her. She cool. Uh-oh. I found this. Uh-huh. This woman is a f detective. It feels so good to let it out. So free. Uh-huh. And you're gonna tell her she shouldn't? Your mother and I were close once, but the red panda took that away. Huh? I couldn't bear to see that happen to you. So no more panda. Oh, sh But woman, don't you think uh, that the reason your relationship isn't close with your daughter, like maybe because you made her get rid of the part of her, the panda part of her? It's, it's fine. You don't have to do it. We'll just, uh, figure something- I won't go. What? Oh. Oh, she was so ready to sacrifice the ticket. Oh. If we can't all go, then, then none of us should go. Oh, they're such good, oh, good friends. These are good people. Oh, they're heartbroken. She, do the panda, do the panda. Because these are the people she cares most about. She loves them, so she's gonna do it for them. Hell yeah. Oh my God, this whole vibe. The 2002, oh my God. Destiny's child, cha-cha slide, I love everything. This was definitely made for like millennials or young, young millennials. Oh my God, so cute. Mimi needs a strong hand now more than ever. Don't let her out of your sight. Mimi needs a mother who loves and accepts her and allows her to spread her wings, okay? A little bit, within reason. Oh. Oh, sh She left the window open, oh no. <gasps> Fur baby? Fur baby! I didn't realize the merch said that. Oh boy. Yeah, uh-oh, uh-oh, the, oh, the bad grades. Oh, everything, oh no, everything. Tyler's birthday, oh no! Oh, the concert is at risk. The boys are coming to Toronto on the 25th, so get your tickets now. Did they push the date? Under a red lunar eclipse. Oh, she got the date. She got the date wrong. Oh, 25th, the day of the ceremony. We want more rides. Fuzz off, jerk face. I'm busy. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do, Tyler? Go back to your psycho mom and, and your creepy temple, you freak. <laughs> oh, girl. Ah, hey, stop. Hey, hey. Ming, Ming's here. I'm sorry. Just Get off of me. Oh, you made him cry. You scared him. Oh, he probably thought he was gonna die. You scared everyone, girl. I can't believe you girls would use her like this. What? Oh, come on. What? I knew you were trouble. Maymay is her own person. It's not everybody else's fault. Ma'am, your daughter is an, an individual, okay? With her own thoughts and ideas. She is a good girl, and you've taken advantage of her. May, tell her. May, May. May. Oh, I know that it's tough to let your mom see this, but you have to, you have to. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. May. Oh, she's gotta have, oh, she's gotta have a growing moment where she apologizes to her friends and she she stands up to her mother. She's too scared to stand up to her mother. Her Tamagashi. Oh, her friends feel so let down. Like all the women around this table, you too will banish the beast within and finally become your true self. It doesn't seem like that's what it's about. It seems like taking away a part of yourself and repressing yourself. Oh, oh is he gonna... <gasps> oh. Is he gonna see the tape of them being themselves? I, I, I'm almost ready. Did you make this? Yeah. Here, I'll erase it. Huh? No! Don't erase it! God, I'm too worked up. The panda's dangerous. Out of control. You just need to learn how to like, you're gonna emotionally mature a little bit. It takes time. You're young. She almost took out half the temple. You, you saw it? Dude, you've known her since she was like 13. Your grandma had a terrible fight. Over what? Your grandma didn't approve of me. Daddy! Wow! Wow, they've been together a long time. Jin! You have all kinds of sides to them, May. And some sides are messy. Yes, thank you! Thank you, Jin! I wonder if she's gonna try to do it and the panda's not gonna go away because she's let it out a lot or, or what. I bet she's gonna make a choice or something. Something's gonna happen. We're not saying goodbye to the panda. Whoa! Oh my god! It's like vision! <laughs> Whoa! She got teleported to the spirit realm or something. 
Ah, it's her. Oh, it's her old self without the red hair. So she can make the choice. It's a choice. Do you want to do it? It might be too, might be too tough. No. No. Oh, come on. Yeah, she's going to choose to stick with it. Yes. Oh, this is really sweet. Wait, oh God, is she stuck as a panda though? Cause that is concerning. I thought she could choose. Could you not choose? No, look, she's happy. Oh. It's okay. We can do it again. No, she doesn't want to. I'm keeping it. Yeah, girl. Yeah, you are. No. Oh, it, she cracked her necklace. Is that gonna come out in her too? Cause her necklace is cracked. Her heart's beating. She's gonna turn into a panda too. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, <sh> sh <laughs> When the villain is your mom. <laughs> this is like Brave when uh, Merida's mother turns into a bear. <laughs> a lot of movies where mothers are turning into animals. Ah! Okay, good. She can turn back at will. That's cool. As long as you can control it, that's cool. Oh, look, she's going to bounce into the concert. That's a ah! She's using it to fly and do parkour. May, you threw us under the bus. Yeah, you gotta apologize. I've been like obsessed with my mom's approval my whole life. I couldn't take losing it, but losing you guys feels even worse. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. Her Tamagotchi. She's been taking care of him 24 7. No, it's. <laughs> Four Town Forever. Four Town Four Forever. Four Town Forever. Tyler? Ha ha ha. Yeah, now they like him. Now they like him. This is great. And there's five of them. This is perfect because there's five in the band. You guys can each like one person. He clearly likes Aaron too. He has Aaron too glasses on. Oh my God, her mom is huge. Who knows what's up? <laughs> I love that Tyler's in on this now, man. This makes it so much better. Oh no, oh no, Ming, don't destroy the concert. Give me one, two, three, four. Everybody. <laughs> uh oh, she, she's really big. Dude, she's gonna kill people, my God. I told you she was big. That big? That big? She was always that big? That's a lot. Ma'am, you are gonna get arrested. Mom, where are your parents? <laughs> it was all me. I like boys. I like yeah. music. Hell yeah. Gyrate. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like that answer. Okay. Mimi, keep her busy. Oh, I'll keep her busy. <laughs> Oh, I'll keep her busy. <laughs> the circle. <laughs> we have to distract her so that she can be separated from the panda. <laughs> sing louder. Sing four town. Sing four town. Oh, they're gonna get four town to sing. Yes. Yes. Come on, four town. Four town. And sorry, I'll never be like you. Oh my God. Whoa. She's not in the circle all the way. She's only partially in the circle. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's gonna go protect her baby. Is she big too? Holy sh**. Not as big as, no one's as big as Ming. <laughs> Don't just stand there. They all have to do it. They all have to do it. Oh, the brooch. They all have their own form of jewelry that it's caught in. Look at them. Oh my God. This is so cute. This is so itchy. <laughs> it's always quiet, Lily. <laughs> Oh, they did recruit them. Never met nobody. They're such good sports. Look, she's crying. She's so overjoyed. This is incredible. <laughs> yes. This is amazing. They're even dancing like that in sync in the Backstreet Boys. I love this. I love this. Is she going to still keep it? I want her to still keep it. Mom? Is her mom here? She's here. Is she a little girl? Oh. Are you okay? We have to... She's a little girl. Oh, it's all my fault. Oh, I, I hurt her. Who? My mom. Oh, I'm just so sick of being perfect. I'm never.
never going to be good enough for her. Oh, damn. Oh, no. God dang it. God dang it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Thank God I found tissues, man. Thank God. Is she growing up as we're passing the trees? What's happening? Or did her hair just get put? Oh, she is. Oh. 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 Is that scar from her? I wonder if that scar is from her. Yeah. I'm scared it'll take me away from you. Me too. It's okay for you to be different from your parents. You try to make everyone happy, but are so hard on yourself. Yeah, she gets it from you, ma'am. I taught you that. You did. The farther you go, the prouder I'll be. Oh. I'm not going to regret this, am I? Is Sonny gonna say anything ever? She's happy that somebody in the family felt like it was a blessing. She's probably overjoyed. Like, finally, somebody's grateful for what I did. Life's been a lot. Yeah, I am a little worried about, wouldn't there be some criminal charges for Ming? Mom and I just call it growing pains. Oh, okay. And what does the city of Toronto call it? Destruction of property? Oh, she gave her a Tamagotchi? She all had to put her panda in something. Oh! Oh my God, she put it in a Tamagotchi. That's perfect. Hello. Welcome to our temple. Oh, now they're now they're even more famous because she great. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'd be pretty pissed if I came to this temple and it was just a guy in a suit and they didn't have the real panda there. Oh, she got a photo with Four Town. Oh my god, man, this movie made me like hit me in the heart. <sighs> why am I even surprised though at this point? You know, like I feel like every time we sit down and watch an animated movie, it's just like watch Natalie cry for an hour. This. Uh, like many animated movies that we watch here on my channel, it was really sweet, hit me in the heart very hard. I feel like I say this with most animated films that I watch, but there really are some that just hit me in the heart more than others, especially when we're focusing on a girl character and a relationship with her mother specifically, because that's just stuff that I relate to the most from my life. I feel like this family reminded me a lot of my family. I mean, I wasn't the only child growing up, but... I do feel like I relate a lot to this character and um, wanting to please your parents, but also learning how to like be yourself. And that can be tough sometimes on your relationship with a parent, but um, it's, it's important and it kind of has to happen. If it doesn't happen, there's just a lot of resentment from not letting yourself express yourself. So I thought this was really sweet. I also just loved the fact that it was like set in 2002 and there's all these like throwback things going on. I mean, the Tamagotchi and the boy band reminding me of like NSYNC or Backstreet Boys, even some of the clothes they were wearing, like May wearing leggings with skirts. I feel like, I don't know, I don't have kids or anything, so I don't really know what the kids are wearing these days, <laughs> but I feel like you don't see that as much anymore. But that was definitely like a thing back then. Leggings were just everywhere and especially the art style in May's room. There were a lot of things that just reminded me of what it was like when I was 12 or 13. So yeah, this definitely hit me in the feels because I feel like this was my childhood to a certain extent. Obviously, not everything was the same, but a, a lot of it I really related to. The music was great too. Like the music was a bop. Like really good. Sometimes in stuff like this, when you see people write music for movies, it's like there's maybe one song that's good, but the rest of it's not good. I feel like all three of the songs that they wrote and featured in the credits were really good. And I like the fact that music kept coming back around and it's this core defining friendship of these four girlfriends. And it came into play later with the ritual because we talked about singing from the heart and we got to have that four town moment there. I also like the fact that Tyler, this kid that they all kind of hate, who's annoying and kind of mean to them throughout the movie, ends up liking Four Town and they can bond over it. Like, that was really cute. So, yeah, it was just really, really cute, this whole movie. Um, I think it was really well done. And even in the end, too, like, it's not easy for the mom to let her daughter still be who she wants to be and express herself. Like she even has a moment of weakness where she's like, come with me, just come with me. It'll be easier this way. And I think that that is always a thing it, that's present in a lot of parental relationships with their children. Like even though maybe you want your kid to be able to be who they are and express themselves, it's concerning when maybe you see them going in a direction that you don't really think is a great direction or something you don't approve of, or maybe you don't think it's the best thing for them, but 
as a parent, you kind of have to let that control go and just let them be who they're going to be. And it's it's a tough thing to do. And it's a tough thing for kids sometimes who want their parents' approval to like to do that, to stand up for themselves and, a lot, and really express themselves um, and be loud and messy. Some kids don't ever do that. And then they're repressed and they don't ever really have a good relationship with their parents after that. Some kids do, but it, it makes the road of their life like with their parents it can make it treacherous after that and make it more difficult because it makes it harder to bond sometimes because you're not the same as you used to be before you grew up and became more of an adult. So yeah, I really, really vibed with this story. I feel like it's very relatable and um, it definitely matched my experience as a young girl a lot, especially because like I am a loud <laughs> and messy and emotional person. So I even related to just like her trying to like stifle her emotions and not being really successful at it. Like I even related to that very well. Cause you guys know I'm an emotional, I'm an emotional <laughs> And uh, yeah, I have a really hard time not being loud and messy. And at, at this point in my life, I'm really confident in that being how I am, but it took a really long time to get there because, you know, I used to have people shush me all the time or tell me to calm down or tell me to act a certain way. And um, because, it you know, it's embarrassing when you're in public, I guess, for other people when you're being like loud and messy. And although I agree, like you shouldn't be like that all the time, obviously read the room, like, you know, but that's just how I am. And so now I'm much more confident in that. But it, it takes a long time to really find who you are and be confident in that. It can take a while. So I was also really happy to see that the friendships in this movie were like so strong and so loving and supportive and accepting of who May May actually authentically is because that is not a thing that everybody experiences. I mean, I I also related to this experience too because I, I feel very blessed that my friends were so awesome. Like I, I feel like I had a really great middle school and high school experience where I had friends who accepted my weird, dorky, loud qualities and didn't really shame me for it. I mean, I definitely encountered people who did, but for the most part, I had really great friendships and still to this day, I feel like have friends who really allow me to be myself. And part of that is because they're theater geeks too. So, you know, we're all like this, but um, it just made me so happy to see friendships evident in this story that were really empowering one another and supporting one another. Because sometimes you don't see that. I like that we could just focus on the dynamics between the parents and May May in this movie and her friendships were like awesome. So that was really cool. Yeah, I think this movie was adorable, so sweet, and I loved it. I can't wait to hear what you guys think in the comments down below if you really related to this one. I feel like it was definitely targeted towards people in my kind of age range um, with the whole 2002 vibe. But I also think it's just a really relatable story for most people, so. Definitely curious to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. But until the next video, that's all I have for you guys. So if you liked it, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know and I can watch more content like this in the future. And subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.